Assalamu alaikum, Shaykh. Wa alaikum assalam, Rantullah. Shaykh, how can we remove the jealousy once it has entered? And how to lift the veil and block all these bad char characteristics from entering us? <laughs> Make a connection. <laughs> yeah. Read the five books that we published. <laughs> You have to make your connection, do your salawats, this all, all the practices. That's the description of these practices. What we talked about tonight is, is the, like the physiology of how it's happening. When people want to understand the rope of Allah Bihablillah wa tafaraq, itasimu bihablillah, hold tight to habl. Ha, ba, lam. That hab, that rope is actually hub, ha, ba. So, hab, when Allah is describing rope, there's no rope in heaven. So, means that the secret must be in the huruf. Hold tight to the rope of Allah. Dunya people always read Qur'an as if Allah is occupied on this dunya. Allah doesn't care for this earth, how many billions of planets there are and billions of galaxies and ever expanding universes and galaxies coming into existence and galaxies going out of existence. The secret was in what was meant by the word rope, known through the secret of the huruf. So, habl was a, a reality to reach to these oceans and hope meant that it was the secret of that rope. So the rope that Allah is describing is love and it's, it's immensely powerful and free and it is the secret that every atom within its existence is created from. So we describe the atomic bond of elements, its bond is love. Allah commands the elements together by Divinely love and they come together. As Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The result of their bond, it can't be broken until people come and try to break the bond or break an element or break the bond of, of a molecule. But what brings it together is not the thought and aqal but the hub and the love. And Mawlana Shaykh said, described, if you knew these two letters and its realities you would have understood the reality of creation. And that's what that reality, it's one of its understandings is that love. And this only can be achieved by Divine love, not the love of people because we don't care for what people care or care about or like us or don't like us. But this is the love for Allah's Divinely Presence. This is the love for Sayyidina Muhammad and those whom Prophet loves and to stay away from those whom Prophet doesn't love. Don't let that power be guided onto something incorrect because it will be the destruction of the person. So then they guided their love to love whom Prophet loved.
which is the Ahlul Bayt and Holy Companions and only Allah fi samai wa fil ard. So then they enrolled in a school of good manners to clean the vehicle or vessel of that love. That's why Allah guiding people to the turuqs. Unfortunately the turuqs don't seem to be teaching good manners and guidance and how to clean your heart. But that was the purpose of the schools of tariqah. So that you don't come across people who talk bad, who act bad and, and hooligans and hoodlums. Tariqah was the way of perfected character that if you come across our students they should not talk bad, they should not backbite, they should not exhibit any type of badness or arrogance and that they have to be continuously aware of their heart. For if their heart becomes contaminated and the heart exhibits dirtiness, they are void of Allah's Divinely love that comes into that heart, begins to pour into that heart. And they have to be continuously washing. Imagine you're given one beautiful cup and you never decide to wash it after that. You achieve something, you got the cup, if you don't wash it in five days there's so much bacteria and that the bacteria will kill you. Oh, means their life is a continuous because the next question is, Shaykh, when does this ever achieve and when does it stop where we don't have to struggle anymore? So the only time it stops is when you're dead and you took your last breath, your cleaning on this earth stopped and then it now enters into the grave cleaning. So it means that our life is a continuous scrubbing, washing, observing, cleaning, scrubbing, washing so that Divine Grace continuously fills it. And then to achieve the company of these holy souls, they're so powerful because other people are wondering, okay they didn't even post. How many of the people posted about the wiladat of Sayyidatina Fatima Tazari Salaam? They think maybe it's not important, maybe only their zikr of themselves is important, they're quick to post that as if people should come to hear their zikr and who cares. But the ashiqeen, why they post is because they receive so much love, so much energy from those associations of holy souls. That when you remember these holy souls means you're taking your, your gold cup and all this filling it with such an immense light that it can't be something understood. And when you bring others to that association, to that way it makes them to be happy. Means in the last three nights our well count is close to 100 wells for the owner of Sayyidatina Fatima Tazari Salaam. That there will be a hundred fountains of water giving to poor people to drink from. Because the ashiqeen they came in their heart and they wanted to achieve that. That has a credit in their presence, that has a, 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 an owner with Sayyidatina Fatima Tazari Salaam when she's talking in the Divinely Presence, look what this group did, look what their lovers did, look what their ashiqeens did. You don't think that she's taking that amal and blessing it upon every family and every everyone who drinks from that reality. Means the, this, this way and is so much Divine love and grace coming and lights coming. How could you not tell people to come? If you felt that love you would busy your life spreading their love and spreading their birthdays, their passings, their celebrations because those are the most important ob observances. Those are the ones that bring the most amount of Divine lights upon people. In these times of need we need these holy souls to watch after us, watch after our family, watch after our children. That when they're happy and they're looking you don't think they're praying, Ya Rabbi take away this sickness from this one. Ya Rabbi grant their arms are short and not reaching to what you have provided for them, grant them to reach to that reality to their sustenance. That's what we're in need of, we're in continuous need of other people praying for us. Not we pray for ourselves, we pray for yourself it doesn't count for anything. But that other holy souls love us enough that they are praying for us, they're happy with us. 
they're making munajat and they're making du'a for us. That is what… how to achieve in life that other people prayed for you and other holy people pray for you. If you can achieve that then you understood the purpose of tonight's talk inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah Can you please elaborate on the understanding that peace is the highest jihad? Yeah, inshaAllah. We sit with again new age people, no disrespect. They are under the assumption that you find a tree, you sit, you meditate, and you're going to have bliss. Because they don't bring the variable of shaitan. So shaitan look at you and say, what? You're planning on sitting next to a tree and find bliss? It's going to come and eat you alive by that tree. There is no bliss. And the, the true peace, the true bliss is the one who decides, now I'm going to unsheath my sword. I'm going to begin to sharpen it. And I'm going to put the Sunnah of Prophet on is my armor. And I'm now going to declare my jihad against myself, not people because NSA is locking on and saying, what, what, what they're talking about? It's the fight against the self, it's the greatest fight. The one who says, I'm not content with myself, my bad character, my, my whispering, all oh, my, my badness and that I want to achieve salam. I want to achieve Islam and taslim and submission. Islam is submission and peace. They say it's the religion of peace, yeah but the people whom you see they're not at peace, they're fighting. They're confused fighting outside people. So there's those hooligans that go to the park in London and they fight other people and argue and, and debate other people. What kind of rubbish is that? They're not supposed to do that. They're supposed to put their soapbox in their bedroom and talk to themselves and yell at themselves and find all of their bad characteristic. They shouldn't open your mouth to anyone else about their religion until you found out everything about your good and bad character and that you took a hisab and an accounting of oneself. When we open up a preaching and preach at people and tell them everything bad about their religion and only our religion is good, this is not Islam. Islam was that to be an ambassador and to walk the religion that you have good character when you're tested and that as a result of your character that you're like a walking Qur'an, you're walking Islam, that people look to you and they feel a, a light of guidance and a light of reality coming through that individual. Means that was the reality that was to be achieved. So it means then the greatest struggle that Prophet described to the Holy Companions is that, I'm leaving this earth veiling myself from the physicality and what lies before you is the greatest struggle. And this is the struggle against oneself, one's characteristics, one's desires. Once they fight those and a continuous fight then Allah is, is, is the one who grants the victory. So the victory of fighting oneself is only going to be declared by Allah When He declares victory means He's looking to the servant and grants them sincerity. And we said, you got to fight with your hearing. You have to fight over what you're seeing, you have to fight over what you're speaking, you have to fight over what you feel and what you touch. All your five senses have to have an extreme struggle. And how Qur'an opens? Because Qur'an is not a guidance for everybody, they're not understanding this. Huh? So after Surah Fatiha. The first surah they're reading is what? Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, Alif, Lam, Meem, Thalik al Kitab, Allah, Rabbi fi Fakhudan al Muttaqeen. What's the secret of Alif, Lam, Meem? Thalik al Kitab, Allah, Rabbi fi. There's a secret in Alif, Lam, Meem, 
and that very this book has no no crookedness because the kitab of Allah is the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad is the 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 electronic book of Allah the book on the soul not the physical book we said before you have a book but Allah Allah you have a a tablet and Allah has only books in in the heavens but Allah has the latest technology dhalik al kitab Mukhudan al muttaqeen means that this dhalik al kitab this reality of the kitab of Allah which is the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad is what Hudan al muttaqeen is a guidance for muttaqeen didn't say for everybody else so means they're not understanding what the kitab of Allah they say it's the, the mushaf but no that's not the real kitab of Allah is the soul and the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad Hudan al muttaqeen is that it's a guidance for the muttaqeen whom they have a yaqeen over all their senses. They fought on all fronts, they fought for their ears to be clean, they fight for their eyes to continuously be clean, they fight for the sense of their breath to be clean, their touch to be clean, their speaking to be clean, everything. These are then Allah dress them in the schools of muttaqeen. And Hudan it's a guidance for them the kitab of Allah the walking kitab of Allah Sayyidina Aisha salam described Prophet as what? Walking Qur'an, it's a walking Qur'an. So alhamdulillah it's a continuous battle inshaAllah. As salaamu alaykum Sayyidi Wa alaykum as salaam wa uh, This is from a comment to one of your videos. Uh, Sayyidi, I'm not a murid till now, but I suddenly felt an immense love for Sayyidina Ali alayhi salam and Hazrat Rumi. Can you please tell me why it is so? More importantly, neither do I sit in the company of awliya nor am I an obedient servant. The, the, the love, <coughs> what we talked about today. You can be sitting in an ocean of a thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand people and Allah's love comes like a magnet or rain however you want to visualize it. And that love it hits the servant and immediately it pulled them out of the ocean of common people. That's when we say, that's why if you give you a visual for people to understand that this is a gift from Allah You know if you're in a stadium of 100,000, 200,000 or 2 billion people from this nation, do you think that the fact that you're the people of dhikr, that you're sitting on the carpet for dhikr, you're listening to dhikr at home is your cleverness or that Allah kissed you with a Divine blessing? Now what you're going to do with it? Because Allah now lifted you from the two billion people and you're now from the people of dhikrullah in which you come to praise Allah And then Allah put you into the schools of awliya whom they're teaching you about the ishq and the muhabbat of Sayyidina Muhammad Now again Allah kissed you and came even stronger and lifted you up. Because now out of these two billion people, how many hundreds of thousands know the reality and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad You think they're what in the millions, hundreds of millions or hundreds of thousands or tens of thousands. So means <laughs> as we, we get deeper and deeper you realize that Allah has given immense treasures when He gives love. He's given immense treasures and that's why when you read that nat, what's the nat? Agha, the agha saying, agha gave me a blessings, I don't even know how I got here, how, how it goes? 
ये सब तुम्हारा कर्म है आका ये सब तुम्हारा कर्म है आका के बात अब तक बनी हुई है कोई सलीका है आर का कोई सलीका है आर का न बंदगी मेरी बंदगी है ये सब तुम्हारा कर्म है आका ये सब तुम्हारा कर्म है आका द कर्म इज द द द ऑनर एंड द गिफ्ट फ्रॉम अल्लाह फ्रॉम द प्रेजेंस ऑफ सैयद मोहम्मद सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम आई डोंट इवन नो हाउ आई गॉट हियर बिकॉज़ ही इज ट्रूथफुल दैट आई डिडंट प्रे अ लॉट आई डिडंट फास्ट एक्सेसिवली I don't know what I was doing. Allah's love came and grabbed me. It embraced me and then it began to lift me. And I left the association of other people. And what they worship, what they like, they put me in a basketball game. I don't know what the heck these people are talking about. Let's talk about baseball, let's talk about that. I don't know what they're talking about anymore. you've been lifted out of that room out of that reality and you only want to hear now about this love means if the visual could be understood you're like the the game in 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 those uh, arcades where there's 500 teddy bears and you have to have the the hand for 2 dollars you put the hand the claw grabs the one teddy bear and it keeps trying so you were like in a in a room filled with all these other people Why that claw came grab your head and took you out? That's Allah's love. That's a gift. If you don't recognize the gift, that's your biggest sin. To think now anybody could sit here. No, nobody can sit there. Whom sits there is invited by Allah Zawajal. Whom doesn't sit here is not invited by Allah Zawajal, and His invitation can be pulled at any time. that's a love and divine love that's why they continuously praying ya rabbi keep me in your divine love fill my heart with your divine love if the heart should become dirty with dirty actions what happens if a heart becomes dirty and the person's doing dirty things allah's love no longer pours and then they find themselves becoming distant 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 Why is Allah pouring all the divine grace into something dirty? No. So they have to make toba, they have to make repentance, they have to ask God's forgiveness. When he forgives, he said, "Ask and I forgive." As soon as they ask forgiveness, they go back to cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. So it has to be common sense. We're taking very difficult spiritual and and religious usul for make it in a very common easy language. That if God's going to send you love, it has to be a beautiful golden cup. If you begin to put all your trash in the cup with bad actions and and against Sharia, against divine law, what happens? The love is like, oh, we can't pour it in that now. If that cup has no love from Allah's love. You're not going to get into these associations because we said it's not your salah that got you here, it's not your zakah that got you to sit there and to listen at home and to listen on your couch. It was Allah's love that called you that I just want to hear praising. When you dirty the cup, the love stops. You say, I don't need to praise anymore, I'll just go for Jummah. And you begin to do things but they're not from this ocean of love and realities. They stopped all of this. So means Allah's grace and rahmah is this ishq and muhabbat. And all that Allah asks from us, keep your character good, keep your, your vessel of your heart to be clean. If you made it to be dirty, no problem, make istighfar. And that's why the, the awrad for, for these days is at least 10,000 istighfar all day long until asr time. 
And then durood al-sharif and salawat upon Sayyidina Muhammad Astaghfirullah al-Azeem wa atubu alayk all day long at the beginning of the day that I'm asking you, Ya Rabbi Astaghfirullah al-Azeem by the, by the name of al-Azeem I'm asking your forgiveness and as, as if you're washing like a shower, asking forgiveness for what you know, don't know, did intentionally, unintentionally, Astaghfirullah al-Azeem and then Allah said, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, I forgive you. And if you washed and you showered with istighfar, make durood al-sharif to make your character sweet, to make your tongue to be truthful, be continuously making durood al-sharif. Because how then a tongue that continuously making salawat can go and lie? Because a lie is like a snake that comes into the mouth and the, the way to fight the snake in the mouth is make durood al-sharif. That you're not uh, saying bad things, you're not saying incorrect things with durood al-sharif. So these are the, the awrads of the last day because Allah granting His rahmah and mercy, astaghfirullah al And then durood al-sharif, Allahumma salli wa salli wa barik ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa Ali Sayyidina Muhammad, Allahumma salli wa salli Muhammad wa Sayyidina Muhammad. So that the sweetness and the, the fragrance of the tongue and the mouth is filled with a Muhammadan fragrance, inshaAllah. <clears throat> As salaamu alaykum Sayyidi Wa alaykum as I notice when I feel sadness I express it through anger. This really bothers me and would like to change this character. How to help? Follow everything we just described inshaAllah. Make istighfar and make durood sharif. Sayyidi, there's uh, three, four similar questions. Uh, as salaamu alaykum, Shaykh. As uh, Just a little lost, Sayyidi, how to connect with a non living Shaykha, Mulana Haja Amina, and that I've never heard her or saw her? YouTube. <laughs> Means that we provided a photo. Mm. Thousands of students haven't met Shaykh Nazim, that doesn't mean anything. So you, you can find on YouTube videos of actually Hajj Amina giving sobats. She was one of the 40 abdan, there's 40 of the categories of saints, there are the 40 abdal of Sham that they are in charge of appearing in many places at the same time. She was one of 40 of those realities, so high level awliya with the immense knowledge the realities of the lure of light is from her teachings. So there's a three volume set of her teachings and if you YouTube Ajamina Adil, Sultan al-Awliya's wife, then alhamdulillah you can come across her video so that you hear her sound. You come across her surah by looking at her face, you get the faces on the internet by just Googling her. So everything is available like it is for everyone else, you get those. Print out the photo, look at her photo and then connect your heart with the connection of the shaykhs and asking them to connect to her heart, visualize her presence and then alhamdulillah make your whole rabita and connection to her holy presence and ask that she connects you and that uh, she guide you. And for women this is an important uh, state so that they can come to a much stronger connection inshaAllah. As salaamu alaykum Sayyidi Wa alaykum as salaam wa rahmatullah See, what is the reality of the four kuls around the throne on the healing shifa bowls? Is that the same as those on the level of the heart and does it correspond to holy personalities coming onto the earth? Hmm, that's nice, it could be. <laughs> yeah. yeah, four kuls that surround. That sounds good to me that the, the throne of Prophet and Malik al-Aziz, Sultan al-Nasira. So alhamdulillah this is the, the reality that Allah wants everyone to reach to the presence of Sultan al-Nasira, your authorized Sultan. What Surat al-Isra? 
is describes in Ayatul Kareem that, let me to enter through the gate of truthfulness and then to exit from the gate of truthfulness but to enter into the presence of Sultan and Nasira. So your authorized Sultan and this is Allah's holy Qur'an is not for earth, it's for all of eternity. And our life is to enter into the presence of Sultan and Nasira, that your authorized Sultan and our life is then to be authorized by your authorized Sultan. That's the importance. When the shaykhs their whole life was to reach to that presence and when the reaching of the presence became true and that they're authorized by Sultan and Nasira then the gift to them was a written ijazah. Why? Because not only the spiritual that you're in their presence but Prophet wants that reality to manifest. So the physical ijazah is that by order of Allah to the presence of Sultan and Nasira through the shaykhs that are authorized representatives they handwrite your ijazah and your permission. For what? For guidance and for teaching that you are from the waris al-ummah that you guide in the nation. Where your guidance goes is from north, south, east, west. And that, that was what meant by Ayatul Kareem, Sultan and Nasira means that the authorized Sultan has signed off for you and that his madad and support is with you, that his qawth is with you, his kutubs with you, his awliya fi samai wa fil ard are with you to facilitate what you're in need of. So that's a proclamation from heavens, not from earth. As a result then that's authority. That's the reality in which to achieve. As a result that authorized one and there can be many on earth if they have that physical ijazah. But their life is to bring everybody to the presence of Sultan al Nasira through Maqa Siddiq, through the gate of truthfulness that come tr through this truthful way to the presence of the holy king Sayyidina Muhammad and give your allegiance. And then your leaving means that you leave this earth through the gate of truth. Because you are a servant to the king of all creation, to the sultan of all creation Sayyidina Muhammad and that you achieve the greatest achievement of this earth. You came to the earth and you were veiled from who your king was. And shaitan tried to make you the, uh, his subject, that's the game of earth, the shaitan is coming and saying, I'm the king. That you come to me if you want a job, you come to me if you want money, you come to me if you want this dunya. So the whole struggle in the fight was to find, no I want the heavenly king. And Allah is the power in the heart of that king. But you can never say Allah is the, the, the king of this creation because you're not going to go into presence of Sultan and Nasir being Allah because Allah has no shariq, Allah has no partner. It's not an adab and, and politeness to say that you could go into the presence of Allah Allah is in the heart of His king and that's what's important. So, so Sultan and Nasira, the authorized king is then our life's duty to reach to that reality and to be amongst those whom are from that reality. And that's why when they speak and they teach, they teach about Sultan and Nasira. The Sultan, everything is about the Sultan, not the Sultan of people and on earth because that, that is just a bunch of murids saying, he's a Sultan, this one is a Sultan, you're making things up. The Sultan al-Nasira is no doubt is Prophet 
hold tight to the rope of Sayyidina Muhammad so that not to deviate. Because you could believe somebody's a sultan and find out later in life, no they weren't sultan. So don't call people this title, Prophet is the sultan. And the only other sultan that we're waiting for is who? Imam Mahdi Because Prophet gave us clear indication he's coming as a sultan. From my lineage, my family and from the descendants of Imam Ali Salam. So no doubt you have to have a love for Imam Ali Salam because you're waiting for his descendants. How could you love the descendant and not the grandfather? He's coming with the izzat and might of Imam Ali Salam and he's coming from the lineage of Imam Al Husayn Salam. So means that lineage and that bloodline from Imam Al Husayn Salam is Sayyidina Mahdi, Muhammad al Mahdi salam, Sahib al Waq, Sahib al Unsur. So means is his love. How can you love one, not the other? So as a result, no, you have to have a love for all of them. So, of course, then Allah is going to pluck the one out that he wants. That all of a sudden they hear the name and the praisings of Imam Ali salam, and their heart is drawn to it. They don't understand why. Because Allah's love kissed them, embraced them, and pulled them up. Maybe they have a role to play in all of these realities inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifu wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.